Hey guys, it's great to have you with us again for another week. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, so this week we have got a very special animal challenge, which is a great load of fun, which we want you to get involved with. So in a moment, what's going to happen is you're going to see one of the surge leaders dressed as a particular animal um, in, you know, a unique way. And what we want you guys to do is one, guess what the animal is they're trying to portray and two, which leader it is. And then follow that, we've also this week got an incredible uh, message from Bree, all the way from Kentucky in the US of A. So we're looking forward to that. So in a moment, I'm going to hand over for this latest animal challenge. So it's a good laugh, so get involved. Put your comments in the comments section below of what you, who you think it is. And um, we'll also be sharing it in the stories later for you as a little guest as well. So get involved. Hey Serge, I'm just here in the US and I wanted to bring you a quick greeting um, and a little bit of an encouragement. Um, so I found myself um, thinking about bananas. Bananas, you may ask, um, what's so incredible about bananas? Well, I was thinking about how picky I am about bananas. See, I like them when they're barely ripe. I like them mostly green with just a little tinge of, of yellow. Um, and once they start to kind of get the spots on them or they start to really ripen, I don't like them. And in fact, I won't even eat them. So when they get to this stage, they're absolutely useless to me. In fact, I won't, I won't use them. And I had bought an entire bunch of bananas, um, but didn't eat them quick enough. And then they started to all turn brown. And well, I found myself with a lot of bananas and well, no stomach for them. So I was going to throw them away just because they're not something I really enjoy or really like. And it really kind of got to me because I don't want to be wasteful and, you know, what could I do? So I went to my mom's recipe book and I thought, what can I use bananas for? And one of her recipes actually calls for not rotten, but overripe bananas. And I thought, this is perfect. I can take these bananas and I can still put them to good use and I can put them into a recipe and it's a recipe that's called banana bread. And what you do is you take really ripe bananas and you put them in a bowl and you mash them all together and get them all nice and gooky and ooey and ugh, um, absolutely disgusting looking. And then you take a bunch of different ingredients. You take a couple of eggs and a little bit of flour. You take some sugar and some vanilla extract and you put it all together in a bowl. And what you get is this really nice batter. And then you take that batter and you put it into a baking dish. And then with what I like to do is I add in a nice big handful of either chocolate chips or if you're feeling a little fancy, um, and because I had some on hand, I use M&Ms. And you put it into the batter and you bake it in the oven. And what you get is this lovely cake or they call it bread, but it, for lack of better terms, it's a cake. And what it is, is it's a bad situation that's made good. And right now we're all facing a really, really tough situation. Things that we're not really enjoying or things that we don't really like. Um, but we have, we have a choice. We have a choice at how we look at things and whether we just cast everything aside and, you know, lay in the misery of our rotten bananas or whether we take what life's kind of handed to us and we make something good out of it. Now, when we do this, it doesn't mean that we get to just throw the situation aside. It doesn't mean we still don't go through with it. I still have the rotten bananas. It's how I choose to view them. And you know what? I'm viewing them as something that, well, I can take and make something out of it, something good out of it. You know, in the Bible, it talks in Philippians 4.4, 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. It's not saying this because there's tons of things to rejoice in. It's saying it as a reminder of, look, even when situations are really, really difficult, 
rejoice. Rejoice in the little things, rejoice in the big things. Find something daily to rejoice in. And so you take your bananas and you rejoice. You put them in a bowl and then you have to add other ingredients. And that means on a daily basis, we're gonna have to put things into our lives to make a bad situation better. I believe that we should be reading our Bibles during this time and seeing what the Word says. It's basically our recipe book and it gives us instructions on what we can do. Um, Because like Charlotte mentioned recently, there's nothing that's happening right now that you know the Lord didn't already know about. And he's already given us instruction in this book if we take the time to look. There's plenty of Psalms, there's plenty of verses that are encouragements even in the tough times. If you look at the book of Job, he went through a horrible experience, but he still found a way to stay uh, faithful to God, even in the worst of what he was going through. Um, In James 1, verses 2 and 3, it says, I count it pure joy um, whenever I face trials uh, of many kinds because I know that it's the testing of faith that produces perseverance. So that's when you get to throw in that extra bit of sugar and maybe the vanilla extract and the things that are going to make things sweeter. So try to find something every day that, well, takes your mind off of things. So whether that's watching funny TikTok videos or whether that's finding things on YouTube or Facebook that make you laugh and smile, maybe it's actually going out of your way to do something nice for maybe someone in your household that's also struggling or Maybe it's the neighbor across the fence that's in their garden that's just really having a tough time. Or maybe it's just waving at the people outside your window. I know that I'm doing that. I see people passing by. I wave because I miss talking to people. So find things that bring you joy. And I promise you that in the end, wait for it, you'll not only find that your life changes a little bit, but your situation is going to change. And instead of being left with those rotten bananas that well, you don't really want to eat, you actually have something that actually produces joy and that you can share with others. You've got your own banana bread, a life that's filled with joy even in the toughest of times and even in the sorrow, you can find something to be grateful for. We're all going to get through this. And we're going to see each other on the other side. You got this. Believe in God and believe that he's got good things for you. See you soon. Thank you guys for watching again this week. It's been great to have you with us. Please don't forget this week to have a go at our quiz on the Surge Youth Stories on Instagram. We would love you to get involved. We love seeing you interacting every week. It makes us feel like we're seeing you every week, just like we do in Fridays at the church. So we hope you're all doing well. If you need any help, please do let us know. Please send any prayer requests or anything you want help with. We'd love to be able to chat to you. So any of the usual Facebook, Instagram um, ways of contacting us, that'd be great. Love you guys. See you soon.